Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Advocates at Your Tips. I hope everyone is doing great and let's start learning. Now, in today's video, I will teach you about Abacus tools. So here, I have four different tools. This is an Abacus tool. This is a Chinese one. And this one uh, is the Abacus tool in which we will be learning. And this one uh, is an abacus tool with brown beads and it has 17 rods. And this one is again uh, an abacus tool with brown beads but this one only has 15 rods. And this one is an abacus tool with yellow beads uh, and this one again has 15 rods. So basically there is no difference. Uh, we are not going to learn in this Chinese abacus so I am removing this. And we are going to learn this abacus and there is no difference in different number of beads. Uh, slowly you will understand that. So for today we will learn in this, this tool. And now I will teach you how to read an abacus. First of all what is, sorry, what is an abacus tool? Okay. So let's start with the basics. Um, horizontal bar which you can see here is the um, value bar and this vertical rods which you can see is known as the um, rods I hope it's visible and these beads brown color structures which you are able to see these are the beads this will help us in calculation and the beads above the value bar are known as the upper beads whereas the beads below the value bar are known as the lower beads so this is all about uh, the introduction of the abacus tool and now I am going to teach you some basic things about how to practice an abacus. So first we have how to sit. Do not lean back and relax both your arms and do not rest your elbows. So whenever you do abacus, uh, sit relaxedly but uh, do not rest your elbows. Your elbows should always be in uh, a heightened place and you should hold the abacus. Now how to hold the abacus? Uh, see, if you are a right handed person, then basically you will hold your pencil or pen in your right hand uh, between the thumb and the index finger. So you will hold it like this. Like this. This is how you will hold. Uh, your, this is how your right hand will be. And your left hand, you should hold the abacus with your thumb, your little finger and your ring finger. And these two fingers will be free. The middle finger and the index finger will be free for calculations. So you'll hold the abacus like this and you'll start calculating. And you'll hold your uh, right hand will be like this. Like the, your thumb and the index finger will be free. And the rest three fingers will be holding your pencil or pen, whatever it is. So this is how you start calculating. I will explain it further in the video. Now the next question is um, where to place the abacus. So abacus it should be placed four, finger, four fingers away from the edge of the table. For example, this uh, let's consider this line as the edge of the table. Then four fingers away. So this is the place, like exact place where you should place your abacus. And the unit point. So what is a unit point basically? Unit point is like one's place. Which uh, uh, your children are taught in school. One's place, tens place, hundreds place. So unit point is one's place. Unit means one. So it should be in line with your nose. Like when you hold the abacus, you should be able to focus. Like your nose should be in alignment with the unit point. So in my abacus, this is I am considering this as the unit point so 
this should be in line with the nose in order to make calculations clearly in order to have a clear vision because on the basis uh, once you are thorough practicing abacus or solving abacus with your tool then you will start visualizing it and you have to do the same calculations without using the uh, tool like you have to do it in your mind using fingers and sometimes the, uh, like my teachers they told me not even to use fingers so we had to do all those visualizing like only pure visualization in mind without even using fingers so that comes with practice so for that this basic step should be clear yeah and now as I told you next step is how to hold pencil if you are a right-handed person then you'll hold it like this uh, like between your uh, thumb and uh, index finger while left handers they use um, hold the pencil between thumb and the little finger why do left handers do I told you we should hold the abacus using thumb ring finger and little finger so uh, when you hold the abacus like this and if you are a lefty then you need to hold you you will write with your left hand so you need to hold the pencil in your left hand so that time you should hold it like this and then you will hold it i am not a lefty so i am facing a little problem but those who are lefty they can easily do it like hold this pencil and you are holding it like this and then you are doing calculations whatever it is so between righty and lefty the only difference is in holding the pencil a righty will hold between thumb and index finger like this whereas a lefty will hold between thumb and the little finger i hope that is clear and which fingers should be used for moving these beads so um, see the lower beads value of each lower bead is 1 and the value of one upper bead is 5 for moving the lower beads for any movements you need to do in the lower beads you should use the thumb and index finger like you can use any like you can use the thumb index fingers of right hand and middle and index fingers of the left hand i told you like uh your fingers to be used the finger movements for the beads i'll tell you later but the finger movements like for like fingers which have to be used are the thumb and the index finger these two fingers will only be used for right hand from the right hand other three fingers will be holding your pencil these two fingers are used to move the beads and from the left hand the ring finger uh, sorry the index finger and the middle finger these two fingers are used for moving any beads okay and uh, one more rule is for moving the lower ones we use thumb like one two three four okay um, and for you the upper beads you need to use your index finger of the right hand so it goes like this and for subtracting also you need to use this finger this you will understand in detail in the next video i will explain step by step so for now you have to remember that for changing the beads you need to use your two fingers of your right hand that is thumb and index finger and from your left hand you need to use index finger and your middle finger that's it now how many generally how many white dots a normal abacus has a normal abacus it has white dots one two three four and five five dots a normal abacus has so um, these are not white in my abacus these are not white because uh, those dots had gone so i just painted it with some nail polish let me show you like in this abacus you can clearly see it has five dots so in a normal abacus uh, we'll have five dots yes and uh, which dot do we have to work we have to work with the middle dot like leave these two dots leave these two dots and work with the middle dot okay i hope that's clear 
and as i told you the value of each bead these uh, the beads below the uh, value bar that is lower beads their value is 1 and the value of upper bead each upper bead is 5 so if you want uh, i will explain about the calculations in the next video and when do the beads get value okay see now both the beads that is the upper bead and the lower bead both are away from the middle bar i mean the value bar so the, uh, what is the number here it is showing it is showing zero the beads only get their value only when they are added like they are moved towards the value bar for example when you do this then it shows since this one bead is moved towards the value bar the value represented on this um, abacus tool is 1. If you add one more bead then since I told you the value of one bead is 1 so 1 2 here we have two beads so the answer is 2. The value shown on this abacus is 2 because two beads are moved towards the value bar. So what we have to remember is any time a, a bead gains value only when it is moved towards the value bar. I hope that's clear. And uh, how to clear the abacus? So clearing the abacus means having it in this clean state. So let's guess like we made some of the calculations and the abacus is like this. So now you have to clean it. So uh, let me show you what's the wrong method first. Like people, th how they clear it, they do this, 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 this. Like you don't actually have to do this. See, there is nothing wrong like even if you remove one one bead also it will be cleared but you should not do so because abacus we are doing uh, is if you want it to be useful in your academics then you are doing it for gaining speed accuracy so in that you cannot waste your time removing one one bead so the actual method is it's a little funny you will be like whoa this is how you clear it. Like, let me just make it a bit haphazard. When it's like this, you have to just hold it and whoosh. Clear. In just one step. So, that's how you uh, clear your abacus. So, this is all about the basics of abacus tool. In next video, I will teach you add, add addition, subtraction and other basics. Hope you liked it and if you find this channel useful, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.